Okay, students, welcome to our last training of the year here. This is our Panther Time training. And today what we're going to look at is not an app, but really on Panther Time itself. We're going to talk about the goal of the period, um, why you're going to be doing some self-selection here, and then finally, uh, we will be going through this, uh, the method that you will be using for signing up using Google Sheets. So, let's start with this. What is the goal of Panther Time? Well, if you start with this, what is the goal of the school? It is for you to learn. Um, however, sometimes along the way, we lose track of what's what's going on in class. We might get confused on a concept. Maybe we had to miss class for some reason, whatever it might be. And it can cause us some issues. Now, let's imagine that in a typical unit, you have a bunch of lessons, and at the end of the unit, you have a test. I'd say that's probably a pretty fair approach that's pretty common. So. Let's imagine early on in the unit, let's say lesson one, you have some little misconception, some little idea that you don't totally get. What would typically happen is that you maybe don't get help for it because you say, oh, I'm not sure, uh, but you know, I don't really know when I'm going to get help. But then as the unit continues, that confusion grows because in almost every subject area, those key ideas from early on in the unit become really, really important all throughout. They don't just go away after day one. And if that happens to you, and you do have this little mistake that it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, well, what's going to happen is when it comes test time for you, it's probably not going to go so well, because now you've really lost out on a lot of the essential understandings and really the key learnings of the unit. So what our goal is, and if, you, if we think about it, you know, that poor score really started in the very beginning because you had a small misunderstanding that just grew into something really big. With Panther Time, what our goal is for this period is to make it so that it is a time in which you can get help so we can clear up any of those mistakes. So instead of you going on to Lesson 2 without having totally understood Lesson 1, the goal is to give you an opportunity to get further support on that so that when it comes time for Lesson 2 to come out or Lesson 3 or whatever other lesson it may be, you really are fully aware of what's going on. You understand the key ideas so that when it comes test time, there's no confusion. You're just ready to go. Because while we can provide retests in a lot of settings, it's much better to really get support on your learning throughout the process than at the very end. Because once you get to the very end of the unit, we have to move on still. So this the idea of Panther Time is to help you throughout the process. Now, the reality is with this, that it's up to you to make the decision to get this help. And that's what Panther Time is all about. It's about giving you the choice to make what you need to happen, happen. It's not going to be about a teacher always directing where you go. So let's talk about this whole Google Sheets sign up process that we're really going to be incorporating. So with Panther Time, here's what will happen. On a daily basis, you're going to need to complete this sign up sheet that we will show you in one minute. And it is at your discretion. In other words, you get to choose where you're going to go, and you'll see the options here in a few minutes. You'll get to choose unless a teacher requests you to attend their session, which they will do via email. So basically every day before you sign up, your teacher is going to send you an email saying, hey, I need you to come here, I need you to go there. Um, if they do say that, then you must attend their session unless you have something else that's uh, some unique circumstance. From there, what you will do is then sign up using a personalized spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Each one of you has a, uh, a sheet in your Google Sheets app uh, that you can use. It was created for you, um, and it's sitting in there waiting for you. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to look through um, how to actually use this, and this is the checklist for today. I wanted to just introduce it up front and tell you a little bit about what we're going to do and then I'll go through a demo. But there are two categories to this. We have first our essential understandings, in other words, the things you need to understand about this sheet, but it's not necessarily you need to type anything in. And then second, the skills that you need to be able to uh, to use on the sheet itself. There are two different things. We'll go through both, so don't panic. Um, so now I'm going to switch over here to a quick demo showing you all of these things and helping to make sure that you are set up and ready to go for Panther Time because it will begin next week. Okay, so let's go through our checklist here and make sure that we understand everything that we need to. First, if we look over here on the on your iPad, uh, you should have this app downloaded, which is called Sheets. That's the app that we are going to be using today. Now, when you load this for the first time, in the bottom left-hand corner, you will see a button that says to sign in. You will just sign in with your Google account, your Gmail account, so you're at uscstudents.org ending. From here to find this actual uh, sheet, which is in here, you're going to need to tap on the three lines, and then from there on the left, 
you have shared with me. Now mine is not uh, mine is not in that location because I'm the owner of every one of these docs. So yours will be under shared with me. It will be your last name, comma first name, and then PT slash P7 signups is what it will be called. So something very similar in nature to what mine is called. I have mine sitting in the start just so I could get to it quickly here. So once we have that, let's tap it open. And now you're going to see it here. Now it's something that may be a little bit confusing here, so let's just make sure that I keep you uh, on track here with what all of this is. Don't get too overwhelmed and stick with me here in the beginning. What this sheet is, is it's, um, or what all these sheets are, I should say, is they are all connected to one master sheet, which is coming from your teachers. So what has happened here is the teachers, when they type up some sort of a change, it's going to occur here. In other words, what they're doing is they're offering you certain sessions. And you can see, for instance, in ELA, it says plot quiz retakes or preposition quiz retakes. That's something that the teacher has selected that they want to give you as an option. Now, um, a couple other things to understand here first before we do anything else. Given that all of these things down here are coming from a different sheet, if I were to type in this box, and let's just type in A there and see what happens, it actually screws up the entire sheet. So you can't be typing anything in these boxes. So please do not start uh, doing anything to that effect. Um, as you're noticing, once I clear this, everything goes back to normal. So it's not the end of the world. We can fix it. Now, how do you actually use this? What is this all about? Because I know it can be overwhelming the first time. Once you use it once or twice, though, I can guarantee you, you'll be fine. Here's the way that it works. Um, if you're looking at the different rows here, so like row two, it says session attending. And then you can see in our columns, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and not Friday, which is off the screen right now. So let's say that we want to sign up for Monday, because that's what you're going to need to do soon. What you have as options are all of the different things that are in column B. So in other words, you can choose, if we look at B5, which is right here, let's tap out and come right there, we have that plot quizzes retakes. If we decide we want to do a science test re retake, that's in B9. If we want to do a social studies review, that's in B11. These are the specific sessions that will be offered. Keep in mind for today and for the training, these are all just generic course titles or um, session titles that I put in there. Now, let's say that you want to use these and you actually want to sign up for one of these. How would you do that? Well, you are not going to go and just type in up here, I want to do social studies because if you do that, that's not going to work right with really what we're trying to do in this. So I'm going to clear that here. Again, if I tap on it one more time, I get the clear menu. So what you're going to do to make this work perfectly smooth for everybody is you'll simply come down to the bottom, you'll select the item that you would like to attend, click on it once, click on it twice, and then you'll see it gives you this menu, cut, copy, paste, clear, and note. What we are going to do in select is copy. So select on copy, then come up to the top, choose the box you want to put it in, push paste, and there we go, now you have signed up. And actually, right now, automatically, the teacher of your, um, or teachers on your team will see what your selection is, which is really awesome. The other thing that we want you to do every day is to also explain what you're planning to work on or what you would like help with in this area in the box below in row three. So right now, I type social studies review, if I double tap on that, I can now write, I'm confused with latitude and longitude and need help. So there we go. There's what I'm going to put. And now my teachers are also going to get record that says, hey, I'm going to social studies and I need help with latitude and longitude. That way they know exactly what it is you're hoping to get help with. You would continue this process for the remaining days of the week as they arrive. Now keep in mind, you're going to wait until you get in your email to, to go through and actually do this. However, this is the general approach. So if you decide you want to do the science review, we can push copy and paste up there. And then you can explain your answer. So I'll just type in a couple letters here. Let's see, what do we have? All right, looks wonderful. Return and that's my explanation. Now I want to show you a couple things and these are very important to notice. Do you notice here that some of these say this session is full? Okay, so for instance this one right here 
this one right here, this one right here. How does that work? Well, given that all of these sheets are tied together, we're actually able to set limits. So, for instance, let's say that 120 people sign up for math on one day. That wouldn't work because one, one teacher can't teach 120 students math. So the teachers are able to set maximum uh, capacity for a session. So they might say, okay, we're only going to let 30 kids sign up. And after that point in time, it comes off the list. If the box that you're trying to choose says this session is full, you cannot sign up for it. Okay, You can only sign up for ones that are still up there, and you can actually see what it says. So please do not try to go in and start choosing um, boxes that are already gone. Okay, The point is we're trying to keep the numbers appropriate in the different sessions. Now, let's talk about this. At the end of the week, and really up to this point in time, I think you know just about everything you need to know. So uh, we, we've really done everything that there is. I just want to show you now at the end of the week what you would do. So you're going to have to clear this every week so that you're ready to go for the next. How do you do that? Well, I'll show you two quick strategies. If we tap, and then what I'm doing right now is I'm holding on to this little corner circle. So I tapped once, and now I'm tapping and holding on the circle. I can swipe it over to all of the boxes, and let's say I wanted to move it all the way over to Thursday and Friday, I could do that. And now if I tap one more time anywhere inside, it gives me these options including clear. So if I push clear, it clears everything in the boxes. But for those of you who like things to look nice and pretty, and you need your colors cleared, here's what we can do. Up here we have our little paint can, so if you click on the paint can, and then fill color, we can also switch that back to white, and then voila, a little bit too far zoomed out, but voila, we now have everything totally back to normal and clean, and you're ready to go for the next week. So, that is our quick run through here of how to use these Google Sheets. Um, you, your teachers will have the option to use this for period 7. You can see that's also at the bottom, and, and it will function the exact same way as Panther Time did. But um, if you have any questions, or for some reason you do not see this working over here, you might see a box that says um, ref, and I'll show you what that looks like really quickly here. Um, but if you do see something like this, where it says the REF, let me know and I will um, send me an email and I'll be able to help you fix that unless you've typed something so try to delete the typing but some of you may have a different issue or if you don't have a Panther Time form or sheet excuse me for whatever reason also let me know via email okay thank you very much for your attention and have a great day